Hi, it's Tanya with Red Cardinal Crafts, and today I'm going to show you how to make an envelope mini album. Um, these are by me. They're the six inch by nine inch envelopes, and they have the um, the sticky tab thing at the at the top. And I paid a dollar forty five for six of them, so it's pretty cheap. I don't know what if that's a good price or not. Anyway, so what I did was I took three of the envelopes and then the other three, and then you just lay one down, peel the thing off, stick this tab down, peel this one off, and stick this one down, and then just leave this one on for a minute, and then do the same thing with the other three. Then you need a piece of cardboard um, for the front and back of your book, and all I did was I took a paper pad that I was done with, and um, I just used the cardboard that comes on the back of them. So I cut that, into six inches by nine and a quarter. Okay, so you need two of those. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the three envelopes, peel that last sticky part off, and then stick it down to your thing, and then they're gonna fold back like this. Okay, do you get that? Peel, stick, and flip. Okay, so do that to both of them. Another piece of cardboard and do that with this. So this is gonna be the front and the back, sorry, of your album, okay? Then what I did was I took um, a six inch by 12 inch piece of paper and I glued it to the front piece of cardboard and I left the extra few inches on there, okay? So, because this is nine and a quarter and then so you're gonna have a two and three quarter inches at the end. So I left that because what's gonna happen is when your album comes together, this part is gonna wrap around to help with the binding of this. And you don't want to glue it down right now. Don't leave this to the end because you don't know how thick your album's going to be. You might have a ton of tags and buttons and ribbons and God knows what else inside your album. So you want it to be able to be flexible enough that maybe you have to glue it out here. Maybe you can keep it that um, tight depending on what you're going to do with it. Okay? So that's going to be your, your binding. Um, then what I do is I use um, 12 by 6 inch um, pieces of paper because I want this to go right from, this is on, working on the inside of your book now, so I want this to go along there and to extend over the middle part there of the other envelope because it's basically going to fuse the two pages together. See, so when that closes, it's going to close like that and that's going to sort of join it. And then all you have to do is take another piece of paper, glue it down, and then you've got, you know, some fun things going on here. And then another thing you could do is tuck this paper underneath there and glue it down. And then with this top one, just glue this top part, the bottom, and there, and then you've made um, an instant pocket. Another thing you can do is just trim the very tip of this um, envelope because that's the, the sealed end. So you can just take a little sliver off the end there and then you've made um, a pocket in that sleeve. So because, see I don't get it, because if I stick the papers down just right to here where the two envelopes join, then I'm left with this extra part. Now maybe that's the way you're supposed to do it, I don't know but that just seems like that could pull apart so easily and that's, I don't know, kind of boring. Unless you're supposed to take your paper all the way in there and that's where you're supposed to fold it. I haven't figured that part out yet. So the way I've been doing it is I just close that over and I glue it and I glue it down to this section and I just kind of fuse them. And then that's what's going to put the front, these first three envelopes, um, that's what's going to join them to the other envelopes because this is your the second half, right? So you've got two pieces like that. So then I would just lay this down and do the same thing and extend that paper across that gap and then that's going to join the back half with the front half, okay? Um, again, I'm sure there's many tutorials online and I'm just kind of guessing my way through this. Um, but that's what I think would work. Now the first one I've made an attempt at is this one here and what I did was I ended up sticking all th all six envelopes together so I did where are my envelopes? I did peel and stick, peel and stick, peel and stick and then stuck the other three down so I had a whole group of them like that but what I found is that as I'm going through now that I'm getting around to this part here like near the last page what I find that's happening 
is this is kind of doing a, a rounded over thing. So that's why I question if I'm doing this um, the right way. But you know what? This is kind of working out. This is, I'll just do this. It's a sneak peek at an album that I'm doing for my grandmother. Um, this is from Wall Decor, Enjoyable Cartridge. I like it. Where is it? Here it is. This one, Wall Decor and More. Fun. If you collect the um, Cricut Rewards points, just go to Cricut Re Rewards, and when you get your cartridges, um, I always keep these for some reason, you get these little reward um, things, and you just enter the code number, and they um, they add up your rewards. So I actually got this one um, for free through uh, Cricut, but I mean you pay shipping, which is no big deal. Um, so yeah, so that's from this from that cartridge. So this book is see how I did that piece of paper, this red and white one. It goes right across the other side. So, uh, so I'm just doing little tags and things. This opens up with a little journaling thing. I'm using the stamps that my sister gave me. Um, this whole tutorial is mostly for her because she just wanted to make something this weekend, something fun to do. Uh, this, like I said, is a birthday book for my um, grandmother. She's going to be 98 um, at the end of the month. So I don't really have pictures. I mean, I could dig through and find some pictures, but I'm just wondering if I just do little birthday quotes and um, things about, you know, birthdays and time and um, life and stuff. I don't know. This one, I just put a moment in time. I've got tags says nostalgia. And the little clock and the tree are also from Wall Decor. So really cute cartridge. If you get a chance, get one. Um, so I still have some pages I still have to do. Why a rooster? I don't know. It's just it's cute. And there's one of those ones with, um, I made a pocket. So I'm going to make something that she can pull out from there. And there's another pocket and a little tag thing. Tags, bags, boxes, and more. This is where I'm getting all these little tags um, from, like this one here. And then I just made a little pull out thing to go in there. And that flips, and this flips, and then this one goes that way. So I'm having fun with it. It's it's just fun to sort of stick everything down and and this here like that was just a scrap left over on the on the sheet after it printed out this whole um, envelope. So I just kind of glued a little bit to the back and then glued this part down. So that's how I have them stuck there. And this one I just angled and did the same thing. So it's just a little strip of paper like that holding them down. And then this page I haven't finished yet. And then this one, it's a tag. And she was born in October, so I'm going to circle that or do something with that. And then this will flip up. And I've got little tags in here. And I'm going to do some stickles. And this is a little pocket on the side. This was supposed to be a pocket, and I glued it down by mistake. So I'm going to, I don't know, figure something out with that one. And then this one here. This I did on the Gypsy. It's one of the, it's one of the little pockets. But then I put the... Um, the blackout version of that same butterfly um, on top of the pocket and then the gypsy cut it out. I'm going to do um, a tutorial on the gypsy. Uh, it's so fun now that I finally figured it out why those things don't come with an instruction manual. I'll never understand. But anyway, so I'm trying to struggle my way through learning my gypsy, but I'll um, I'll do a tutorial on, um, on that soon. So, and just some different papers and then I'm at the back of the book. And then that's it. And there's the, the back of it. So it's turned out pretty cute for not knowing really what I'm doing. And I'm just kind of making it up as I go. So that's why this new one, I'm just doing the, um, I'm going to try it with three and three and see what happens. And then I might attempt another one um, someday and just bring the paper right to there so that it does have that um, flexibility of opening. I just, I don't know, I can see someone opening it and it would just open and you just see that part. I don't know. That worries me. So anyway, so that is my tutorial. I hope that helps. Um, I mostly did this for my sister, like I said. So Annette, good luck. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye.